Corner, presented by Jennifer. Armor. Omega pulled herself back behind the large meadow crate that stood between her and the shooters. She whisked a long piece of her hair out of her face. Over time, her hair had gotten longer, though she kept it above her shoulders. Without anything to keep it out of her face, it constantly fell, blocking her vision, which started to become a nuisance. Hunter, I could use some help over here, Omega said into her calm as she heard the sounds of loud footsteps running towards her. She grabbed her bow, shooting it at her attacker with ease. She was proud to say that she was becoming rather good with the energy bow. Nago would practice with her every day to get the motions up to the best she could, and the training was beginning to pay off. Copy that. Echo should be there soon. Can you hold your own for a bit? Hunter asked her. She could hear the faint sounds of blaster fire on his end. Yes, sir, Omega responded finding an opening between the troopers that passed. She took the opportunity to climb up on the tall stack of crates. From there, she could see where everyone was. Hunter and Tech were in the middle of a combat fight while Wrecker was shooting away like a maniac. She could see Echo making his way towards her as well. From her viewpoint, she didn't fail to miss the trooper that was aiming at her. Omega fired a purple bolt and hit him square in the chest. It might have been a mistake as a group of enemies spotted her. Omega's eyes widened as she quickly ducked down before a series of shots could hit her. Echo, are you close? Omega shouted into her communicator. Sparks from a nearby shot appeared a little too close to her for comfort. I'm pinned down. I see where you are. Hang on, Echo said back, and the sound of his metal boots clink clinking under him as he ran. Omega took a deep breath, tucking the same loose strand of hair over her head as she rose up again. She was able to take out three of the eight stormtroopers that were on to her. Unfortunately, one was able to get a blast close enough to her foot to make her jump. Omega's instinct to move wasn't the best choice since she was on the ledge. In a matter of seconds, she felt herself falling, her arms frailing in the air before hitting the ground hard. Ow! The clone mumbled as she rubbed the sore spot on of her head. That would definitely leave a mark or at least an annoying bump for the next couple of days. Omega grimaced, closing her eyes for a brief minute to make her head stop spinning. Omega! Echo's voice was close. She assumed he saw her fall. Omega picked herself up, ignoring the slight pain of her head. She saw Echo and quickly went to join him. The amount of troopers before had dwindled drastically. By the looks of it, she and Echo had the last of them. It wasn't long before the floor was littered with white plasma plas armor. Wasn't expecting so many, huh? <laughs> but we they weren't expecting us neither. Wrecker laughed, walking over with Tech and Hunter. It's either Wrecker, it's either Wrecker, Tech, or, Tech corrected with a know-it-all tone. Whatever, Wrecker grumbled. He hated when his brother corrected him, which was more often than anyone else in the squad. Kid, you are right. That seemed like a that fall seemed pretty nasty. Echo commented, looking at her with a concerned face. You fell? Hunter asked, his parental instincts kicking in as he was about to ask her a series of questions. Omega rolled her eyes, readjusting her blue jacket that she had gotten from Sid a few missions back. I'm fine. It's just a bump, she muttered. When can I get armor like you guys? She looked up at Hunter, who seemed a tad bit taken back at her annoyed tone. Seeing as you are still growing, armor wouldn't last you more than a year or so. Seeing as you are still growing, armor wouldn't last you more than a year or so, textbook. 
Omega sighed. It made sense, but she was tired of all the bruises and scrapes she constantly got on missions. Hunter stood in deep thought. He knew eventually she would need something to protect her. Now that she was getting older and going on more dangerous outings with them, it seemed that she really was in need of more than just a better, func better functional clothes. Times were changing, and his little Omega was growing up faster and than he imagined. You're right, Omega. Hunter nodded. You do need some kind of protection. I'll see if I can work something out with Sid. Omega began smiling. Wait, really? Can't have you getting any more concussions. A helmet would be a good start, wouldn't you say, Tech? I agree. Too many concussions will start to affect you as you grow older, so a helmet would be sufficient for the time being. Yes! Omega exclaimed, full of excitement. A week after the mission, Hunter kept his promise. Sid helped him find a decent and durable helmet for Omega, free of charge since Omega was her favorite, and Hunter couldn't argue with that. He sat at the bar, waiting for Omega and Wrecker to come back from their usual Mantel, Mantel mix trip. It wasn't long before he heard the loud clatter of both of them when they entered the parlor. Hey, Sarge, Wrecker said with a mouthful of the sweet snack. We brought back enough for everyone. He hand, handed Hunter a large container of the mix. How much did this cost? Hunter raised an eyebrow. He needed to make a limit on how much sugar they were eating in a day. Eh, not important. Rucker dismissed the question, which really only gave away the answer. He sat down next to Hunter, seeing a large box on the counter. What's that? Hunter smiled as he gestured towards Omega with his head. Rucker mouthed an O oh as he looked at the young clone. Omega, come here. Omega saw the slight grin on both of her brother's faces making her suspicious as she went over to them. What? Her voice trailed off as Hunter picked up a box, opening the lid and taking out a beautifully crafted helmet. The color scheme was a mix, mix of grays and tans, with an opening for the face instead of a visor. Well, do you like it? Hunter asked carefully when she didn't say anything. Hunter, I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Omega took the helmet and placed it and placed it on. It fit perfectly, as well as kept her hair out of her eyes. Aw, oh, looks great on you, kid, Record com complimented. You look a lot cooler now, too. Omega giggled. Thanks, Wrecker. I'm glad you like it. Thanks did an echo. They helped pick it out. Hunter couldn't get over seeing her bright smile light up the room. She deserved having something of her own that made her feel safe. This is amazing, Omega ran off to the nearest fresher. She admired herself in the mirror. Along with her newer outfit, the helmet really pulled it all together. She truly felt like a bad batcher now.